So, on hole number four, um, we're gonna play a par four, we're gonna play over to the small pad there in the center. I wanted to uh, let you know here that this shot has been tested for a POC 5, a POC 6, and then a POC 7 and a POC 8. Uh, top spin and landing spots and stuff like that. Everything will be added in the guide and here we're gonna focus on using all the top spin we can and one left spin. We're always going to use all the top spin we can and one left spin for the lower level drivers as well. Start at the top of plus 18. White train by the rough line with a POC 8, obviously a POC 7, 6 and 5 will overlap as well due to the different accuracy. Everything will be listed as a table. Adjust max plus 10 P3. And with a POC 7 and a POC 8, there is no overpower involved. A POC 6 is going to use two rings of overpower always. A POC 5 is going to use four rings of overpower always to get to the same spot. What I would like you to have in mind here is that I would strongly recommend for a POC 5 and a POC 6 users to use a power 5 wind 4 or wind 5 ball to make this drive. Uh, and the reason for that is when you're using overpower with a with P5 ball, the needle will be very slow. It will then be much easier to hit perfect. If you keep a power four ball, the needle will be shaking uh, uh, a lot, which obviously is going to be a difficult thing to have in uh, to to manage to do accurate. The second shot has been tested for wind 4 and wind 5 ball and drops with both. And we're gonna start by doing a frame check. And the reason we're doing a frame check is because sometimes, especially with a great right, we will not be in plus yardage on our landing spot. Plus 7 we do have there, we're using 0.1 bar of topspin, which is two clicks above zero. Ball guideline to go through the hole with top of the yellow ring by the rough line with B52, 7 and 8. B52, 5 and 6, we're gonna have just uh, the yellow ring just slightly overlapping the rough line instead. Now, we're gonna do as, as a straight pull possible when it comes to this angle here, we're not gonna use any curl whatsoever. Uh, we are going to play this one just as is. If we would be having a, an angle that is more right of that, we're going to, in that case, go with two clicks of right curl to compensate for the more crosswind. Um, perfect ball and it bounces into the rough nicely and it curves down here and we're getting this ball lovely to drop dead center here on hole number four. Get the guide on patreon.com slash golf slash Tommy.